Welcome to Trinity Kids Online, the place to be if you want to discover more about God, the Bible, and Jesus' amazing love for us. My name is Holly. I am so happy you're here. Whether you join us in person or online, I am always excited to see all my friends. We've been learning about how to love like Jesus, but are you ready to learn today about who Jesus asked us to love? Me too. Let's go. love about having all of you as friends is that each and every one of you is unique and special. You're special to God too. In fact, He loves you a lot because He created you. God has created a lot of amazing things and even some amazing animals. In our game today, we're going to have to figure out if the animals presented to us are real or made up. Like I said, God's created some unique things. So let's work together to see if we can tell which ones are real. Welcome to the wild side. It's time to play animals or animals. There are all kinds of different and crazy animals out there. Your job is to decide whether each animal is an animal or animal. Are you ready? Let's go. First up, a pleasing fungus beetle. What do you think, animal or animal? The answer is animal. Next, a velociraptor. Animal or animal? The answer is animal. What do we have here? A Yeti crab? What do you think? Animal. You have to look close for this one. A raspberry crazy ant. You decide animal or animal. The answer is Animal. Next up, a Burmese tiger dog. What do you think? Animal. Let's keep searching. A double fisted boxing shrimp. And it's not real. Animal. The next creature, a hellbender. Animal or animal? The answer is animal. Next up is a forest chicken. What do you think? The answer is animal. How about a ring tailed spider puppy? Take a guess. Animal. Last one a syrup urchin. What do you think? Animal. Bonus round. Red lipped batfish. Take a guess. Animal. Thanks for playing Animal or Animal. It was a wild time. Wow, could you imagine having a velociraptor as a pet? That'd be pretty cool. I wonder what it would even look like. Maybe that's something that would be really, really fun to draw later with someone in your home. But for now, let's get our wiggles out because it's time to worship. 
Worship is a time when we get to sing and dance to tell God how much we love Him and thank Him for how much He loves us. So let's shake out our arms, shake out our legs, and sing and dance together. Jesus is my friend. Ooh, wow. We've been learning together all about how to love others the way Jesus loves others. Our story today is about who specifically Jesus wants us to love. Hayden's in the clubhouse today putting together a special parade for his friend. Let's see what makes his parade so different. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. I'm Hayden. My friends and I are going to have a parade. We started thinking of all the fun things in a parade, like fire trucks. <laughs> and marching bands. It will be really fun and really loud. But our friend Sam does not like loud noises. And I don't want Sam to stay home because our parade will be too loud. So I thought that we could have a quiet parade. Will you help me? Wave your pretend streamers with me. Wave them high. Wave them low. Wave them all around. That's great. Hmm. Oh, I know what else we can use for our quiet parade. Rice shakers. These aren't too loud. Shake your pretend rice shakers with me. One. Two, three, shake. Great job. We're going to have the best quiet parade ever. 
Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Playing the quiet game, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We're having a quiet parade because our friend Sam doesn't like loud noises. That's a great way to love. It's true. I know someone who loved everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> Hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And today, I am also the Neighborhood Parade Leader. <laughs> it's a great day to have a great day. I'm delivering some invitations to the parade, and something exciting that you see at a parade is... Confetti! <laughs> There's confetti everywhere! Which reminds me of our story today. Do you want to hear it? Hooray! Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. We've been learning how to love like Jesus. And just like confetti goes everywhere, Jesus' love goes everywhere too. And to everyone. Jesus wants everyone everywhere to follow him and be his friend forever. Today's true story from the Bible is about the first 12 people who followed Jesus. They were called the disciples. Like Peter and Andrew. They were fishermen out trying to catch fish when Jesus said, come follow me. So they did. James and his brother John were fishermen too. They were out there with their dad when Jesus said, come follow me. And they did. In the next town, Jesus found Philip. And then Philip brought Nathaniel to see Jesus and he followed Jesus too. Then there was Matthew. He had a different job. He was a tax collector. Matthew followed Jesus too. Then there was Thomas and James and Thaddeus and Simon and Judas. Whew, that's a lot. Let's see, do we have all 12? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12! We did it! These were Jesus' 12 disciples. All different people from different places with different jobs and different families. But Jesus chose them all to follow him. Now, why do you think Jesus chose different people? Because Jesus loves everyone. He does. And Jesus wants us to love everyone too. Jesus wants us to love everyone, everywhere. Hi, Ali. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus was friends with everyone. And he wants to be friends with me and you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus loves everyone, and Jesus wants us to love everyone, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I'm so excited for our quiet parade because everyone can come. I know what else we need. Confetti! See you next time. Bye! It's just like Justin said. Jesus chose his followers from different places, different jobs, and different families because Jesus loves everyone. So who does Jesus want us to love? That's right, everyone. 
we can be a great friend like Jesus when we love everyone around us. We can love others by being kind and gentle to them, by doing things for others, and by helping them. In the Bible, it says that a friend loves at all times. Do you want to try that with me? Let's go. Okay. A friend loves at all times. <laughs> that was so great, friends. I can't wait to discover something brand new about Jesus with you next month. I'll see you soon.